Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, you can find links in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any informative video in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel. In this video, I am going to show simple calculation formula, which is used to calculate the revised or new differential pressure range of DP flow transmitter. I will give one example to explain this calculation formula. So, let's go to example. In this example, a flow measurement system comprising of an orifice plate has an input of 0 to 100 inches water column of differential pressure, and it representing a flow of 1 to 200 liters per second. In this example, if we change flow range to 0 to 300 liters per second, then what will be the differential pressure range? As you can see this is a standard calculation formula to calculate differential pressure range. First of all, let's write it down data, which is already given in this example. In this example, revised flow upper range value is 300 liters per second. And existing flow upper range value is 200 liters per second. And existing differential pressure upper range value is 100 inches of water column. From these given data, we need to calculate the revised upper range value of differential pressure. In other words, we need to calculate new upper range value of differential pressure for new flow range. Now, put all given values into this standard calculation formula. And do simple math calculation to find out the value for differential pressure. You will get 225 inches water column of differential pressure. Remember, this is only upper range value of differential pressure. We still need to calculate lower range of differential pressure. Now let's write it down data to calculate lower differential pressure range. In this example, revised flow lower range value is 0 liters per second. And existing flow lower range value is 1 liters per second. And existing differential pressure lower range value is 0 inches of water column. From these given data, we need to calculate the revised lower range value of differential pressure. In other words, we need to calculate new lower range value of differential pressure for new flow range. Now, put all given values into this standard calculation formula. And do simple math calculation to find out the value for differential pressure. You will get 0 inches water column differential pressure, when you put all the values into equation. In conclusion, when flow range is 0 to 300 liters per second, differential pressure value must be 0 to 250 inches water column. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions about this video, then please ask your question in comment box.